Has a new starter emerged for the Jacksonville Jaguars? Let's talk about it. Now, before I get into this video, I do want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, BetUS. BetUS is a leader in the sports betting industry. They have a top-notch reputation for reliability, security, and excellent customer service. And there are currently some Jaguars futures odds out there right now. Um, some of them that I looked at right now, the Jags are minus 160 favorites to win the AFC South. They are at minus 200 to make the playoffs plus 2,500 to win the Super Bowl. And my favorite one is that the Jaguars, according to BetUS, are at nine and a half wins as their over-under, which is pretty, pretty good in my opinion. That is if you want to hit the over. So if you hit the link down below, BetUS will offer 125% on top of your first deposit if you want to kind of get in on this action, whether it be NFL futures or there's even week-to-week -week lines right now if you want to kind of put a bet on a specific Jaguar game. So use that link in the description box down below and shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Now with that said, let's get on to the contents. Now, in my training camp preview, I kind of mentioned that there's not really many spots open when it comes to starting positions for the Jaguars this season. And it's to be expected. Look, the Jaguars, we have Super Bowl, we have Super Bowl aspirations right now. And usually Super Bowl aspiration teams don't have like all these different positions for you know starting spots open. However, you know, there is spots out there. And you know, when it comes down to it, look, you can't spend like top of the market money to fill different holes or top draft trap capital to fill different positions. You know, there has to be times where, you know, you don't invest as heavily in a position and you just hope that, you know, you get a day three guy and the draft pick hits and they're able to kind of slide in there for, you know, a thing that's not a very, very high cap hit. And one thing that I want to say is look out for Jaguars defensive back Antonio Johnson from Texas A&M. Now, he was a player that the Jaguars drafted at the end of the fifth round of the 2023 NFL draft. Actually, they drafted him with the Giants pick, the same Giants pick that the Jaguars got from moving back just one spot in the first round of the 2023 NFL draft to get Anton Harrison after an additional move back with the with the Buffalo Bills. So the Jaguars used that used that draft pick on Antonio Johnson. Now, when Pro Football Focus put out an article, basically draft steals from every round of the 2023 NFL draft, and they actually said that in the fifth round, Antonio Johnson was by far the biggest steal of that round. The Jaguars drafted him at pick number 160, and according to PF, PFF's big board, they had him at number 53 overall as their as their best player now he was generally mocked in this draft anywhere between like a late first round pick to an early third round pick so when he went as late as the end of the fifth round it kind of surprised a lot of people that are kind of entrenched in the nfl draft type of area now he has a lot of versatility he's played safety nickel and linebacker all at texas a&m and right now on the Jaguars website, he is listed as a safety. Um, but many times throughout training camp, he has lined up in the nickel cornerback spot. And he even has two interceptions already in practice. Now, at the moment, it still feels like Trey Herndon's spot to lose, which there's a good chance that, you know, opening day, Trey Herndon is the guy that starts there. But, you know, we've all known a lot about Trey Herndon because he's been on the Jaguars since 2019. He's pretty much been a spot star, a spot starter since the 2019 season when Jalen Ramsey forced his way off of the team. He was the next guy lined up, or he was the next guy up when Jalen Ramsey left the team. So, you know, we've all known about him for a long time. And, you know, we all know that Trey Herndon has had his struggles as a Jacksonville Jaguar. And, you know, as a Jaguars fan, and I know, I know me personally, I am... I get most excited about a player's upside. You know, I want I want to kind of put guys out there that can do all the different things demanded of their position. And, you know, the only thing holding them back maybe is mentally or, you know, stuff like that. They're not physically disabled to really, 
run at that position. You know, the biggest thing holding them back is just learning the speed of the NFL game. Antonio Johnson right now would probably be my favorite to land that starting nickel cornerback spot at some point in the season. And look, while the Jaguars haven't invested like really, really heavy draft capital in that position, or while they haven't went out there and spent a bunch of money on a nickel cornerback, uh, they did have a bunch of kind of micro transactions, you know, a lot of day three picks, you know, some other competitors for that position are, you know, Gregory, Gregory Jr., who was a six round pick in the 2022 NFL draft. There's also Monteric Brown, who was a seventh round pick in the 2022 draft. And there's also Eric Hallett Jr., who, who was a sixth round pick in the 2023 draft, who kind of projects more as a safety, but maybe he can kind of get in the mix there. And at the end of the day, though, this Jaguars defense coordinator with his defense, it is very versatile. You know, he'll figure out how to get the five best defensive backs out on the field. I mean, just last year, there were, you know, toward the end of the year, there were many packages featuring three different safeties, which doesn't usually happen a lot in the NFL. But, you know, they felt that getting Andre Sisco, Rayshon Jiggins and uh, and Andrew Wingard out there would be more favorable than, you know, having the nickel guy out there. So, uh, yeah, with that said, like and especially as the season goes on, you know, you saw just last year, defense coordinator Mike Caldwell learn his defense better, kind of figure out better how to get guys in their best positions. And, you know, now Mike Caldwell Second year in this defense, second year as a defense coordinator, second year with a lot of these players on the roster. Now it's just that final 10 to 20 percent that they may tweak around and figure out how they can get them on the field. You know, guys like Yasir Abdullah and guys, like I said, with Antonio Johnson, get different guys out there on the field and figure out how they can, you know, best serve this defense. So it will be definitely exciting. This will be one that I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on. And luckily for me, I will be at training camp tomorrow. Um, I can't wait. So with that said, vlog will be coming out tomorrow. I'll also be publishing my takeaways from, you know, that day at training camp. You know, I haven't been able to really be the best guy when it comes to training camp coverage just because, look, I work my own job. I am, you know, I'm not, I'm not a reporter. I'm just like you guys. I say it all the time. I am not a Jaguars reporter. I am just a fan giving my opinions from a fan standpoint standpoint. Um, so I hope you guys can all appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'll be at training camp tomorrow. Can't wait. And um, also once again, shout out to bet us for sponsoring this video and yeah, go Jags.